Hi. Everyone having a good night? Can I get a cheers? All right, let's do this. So my name is Lewis. I'm a... <laughs> this guy looks amazed right now what just happened. Um, my name is Lewis. I'm 25, but I look like I'm 47. <laughs> and honestly, I've come to grips with that now. I came to China when I was 21 years old. Ooh, someone said, ooh. I came straight out of university, right? So imagine yourself, you're 21, you're young, dumb, full of cum. You're like, I got, I'm gonna go be a real teacher. I can find out you're not a real teacher. So I show up, uh, the guy who interviewed me, he was very much on my level, you know, very chill, and he was like, I'm gonna send someone to pick you up. And I was like, okay. I come out of the plane, 16 hour flight, I'm fucked. And then I get off, and there's this young, attractive, very buxom Chinese lady in tiny short shorts with a sign that says Lewis with a heart. And I'm like, fuck yeah, my company got me a hooker. China's cool as fuck. Get in the taxi, turns out she's my manager. So I'm like, okay, I'll move in, all right, we Figure this out, lady, you know, all right? She's like, you gotta go straight from your flight to a meeting with the boss. And I'm like, shit. Okay. Show up, the boss is old as fuck Chinese lady. She looks me up and down, speaks to me to our translator. <laughs> and it says, you are fat, but a little cute. I'll call you panda for life. <laughs> And I'm like, this is, this is a great entry to the country, like, I've already been blue-balled and insulted within like an hour. I'm gonna love it here. And the thing is, that continued. Because I don't know if you know, so I have an ex-girlfriend who's Chinese. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Like, somebody wanted this inside of them, it's insane. And so, she had a pet name for me. And I always thought she was calling me Panda. You know, she knew this joke, she thought it was, I thought it was like a cute thing. Until one day I'm at the bar and my Chinese friend is there. And um, my girlfriend at the time was like, hey, Panza, Panza, come on, come on. And yeah, my Chinese friend pissed her fucking pants because Panza basically translates to fat cunt. <laughs> This bitch had been embarrassing me across the fucking city for a year and I had no goddamn idea. Oh, it was awful. But now, now I think I take my job a lot more serious. I feel like I'm a serious kindergarten teacher, you know? I teach kids, but I like to <laughs> teach them right. And um, so one day I'm teaching this class with the buxom young lady who picked me up from the airport. Uh, we're teaching this class, and I don't know if you know this, but if you're local to Fujian province, they struggle with the F sound. So I'm teaching a class, me and the kids, so I go, one, say one, goddammit, don't make this difficult. <laughs> one, one, two, two three, three, I get to four, and I didn't realize this. They can't pronounce it right. And so she looks me dead in the eyes and goes, Whore! <laughs> this kid... This kid is so proud of himself. And I know you shouldn't encourage this behavior. So I'm like, okay, everybody, one more time. Four. Whore! So this girl, this... Beautiful lady with big titties. It's like, um, give me a minute, I'll go one on one with her. She's looking this kid in the eyes, and she says, four. And the girl goes, four. 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 And there's this fucking four year old Chinese girl just screaming, four. 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 And I'm sitting there like, who told you? How did you know? 
That's insane! But, um, okay, I want to ask a favor from the crowd right now. Can I get a slow clap going? Can we just... I got a surprise for you. Pass that, pass that, come on, speed it up. Whoa, look at that, slow it down, slow it down, pass that, pass that, pass that. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and I'm. So, um, this is a lot to take in. I mean, besides. Don't get into fucking jokes. I mean, besides this. And my huge ass titties. Chinese girls be be, be jealous. Um, there's all of this. I know it's fucking it's insane, right? Can you believe people sleep with me? This is fucking retarded, right? <laughs> but uh, so yeah, this is the other half of my personality. During the day, I'm a very professional, strict teacher to babies. During the night, I'm just this. <laughs> And you're gonna deal with both sides of that, okay? Is everyone okay with that? Does anyone feel uncomfortable? Yeah. You can feel more, you can touch it if you want, feel a bit more comfortable. It's insane to me that they put you in fucking kids' desks for this. But um, yeah, I'm fat and I'm okay with it. I've come to terms with it, I accept all of this. Ew, I'm sweaty. Uh, I'm gonna deal with it in my own time, but right now I'm just gonna enjoy the moment, you know? This chair is not steady. <laughs> but, uh, kinda leads into the point. So, <laughs> my friends call me Lava Lamp. Cause when, <laughs> when I laugh, I tend to jiggle. <laughs> and I can't help myself. It's just a whole. Now imagine this during sex is just a fucking flow, like a wave. <laughs> but um, I like being fat. I think there's positives to being fat. And the main one is, I don't know if you can see my face right now, I'm sat like under this blaring light. Can you see my face or just my titties? <laughs> either, either or, it's fine. Um, so yeah, there's positives to being fat. And the main one is, everybody has low expectations. Uh, so, uh, like, I get up here and you guys don't know if I'm going to be funny or just a dumb fat asshole. I play rugby, if you don't know what that is, Ganlan Cho, fucking whatever. And everyone has the lowest expectations. You can do the least amount of work as long as you do the littlest job. And it's the same with women. They see a fat dude in the bar, I'm like, you want to go home? And they're like, okay. I could do the smallest thing. Like, open the taxi door for them and they're like, oh my God, what a gentleman. <laughs> this wonderful large man cares about me and my needs. <laughs> I like this dude. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. But also, I don't, I don't help the stereotype because I'm lazy as shit. I fucking hate doing anything. I hate learning languages the most, which is why living here sucks, because I'm too lazy to learn the language. And it all stems from when I was in school. Does anybody hear French? Thank Christ. So, when I was in school, I was learning French, and I had this teacher, and she was very self-absorbed. So I realized early on, I was like, I just made her I just managed to slip in a question like, how was, how was your weekend, miss? How did they go with Brad? Whole class, she just talked about herself. Three years, I didn't learn a fucking word of French. <laughs> then, got to the end of the fucking term, our principal was like, why do we have the lowest grades in French across the country? And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. And so we got a new teacher. He was Irish. I don't know if you ever heard someone speak French in an Irish accent, but it's the most hilarious shit you'll ever see. I can't even, no. <laughs> and so when he got to the exam, he cheated. He took a whiteboard, wrote all the answers down during the speaking exam, so he could record it and it sounded like we were fluent. 
got to the end of the year, and he hated me as well because, I mean, fucking who wouldn't look at me, Jesus Christ. And so he was like, I've got you a nickname. I was like, okay. And he was like, you tell girls at the bar how you speak French. You say, je suis un calling on. And I was like, yeah, that sounds sexy as shit. I'm going to do that bullshit. And with English girls, it was fine. Because they were like, oh, you speak French. This multilingual man right here. But then I try to screw, uh, then I try to hook up with a French chick. Oh, right, I fucking, <laughs> and I go up to her and I say, uh, je suis en colion. And she pisses her pants. She can't stop laughing. Turns out, for two years, I've been going around saying, I am a dickhead in French. Yeah. I was like, you played the long game, sir, but you won. You won. <laughs> fucking the worst one. God damn, fucking Russian. Do we have any Russians in the house? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, you sound really proud to say that you're Russian right now. Christ. So my ex-girlfriend was Russian. And so I wanted to do, someone just said, oh no. <laughs> I wanted to do something romantic for her. So I learned how to say, I love you in Russian. Took her up, someone just laughed at the fight. So I took her over for dinner to this romantic spot. I looked her in the eyes and I said, Yala blit ya tebya. This, where am I fucking Russian bitch over here? That's exactly what my ex-girlfriend did. She laughed at my ass. She was like, your Russian sucks, dude. And I was like, bro, like... Oh, anyway, okay. Chinese. I hate learning Chinese. And I don't want to sound like a piece of shit foreigner. I've tried. But why does one thing never mean one thing? Because I can say, what? But if I say, whoa, it's a whole different fucking thing. And I learned this the hard way. When I first got here, my good friend who brought me here taught me one phrase. Because I was like, if I'm getting a massage, and, and he was like, you just say that Fiji. Yeah. And I was like, okay. But then, I'm walking around my kindergarten one day with my kids. And one kid points at a picture and goes, that Fiji. And I'm like, hey, I won't have that language in this classroom. I take him to my Chinese teacher. And in Chinese, he's like, what'd you say? And he was like, I saw a big airplane, so I said that for you. <laughs> and I was, and she was like, "Oh, good job." So I'm looking at the Chinese teacher, and I'm like, "All right, sit down for a minute." So um, that fake G means and she was like, "Big airplane," and I was like, "But like, if I'm in a massage place," <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, he, that means hand job." And I'm like, "Who the fuck?" Decided that. Why is that a thing? And it got even worse during COVID times. Because I would, I, I'm a responsible person. I care about people. So I went to the store to get some masks. Drugstore, right next to my school. So I go down. I walk up to the store and I'm like, uh, Woyo, Koja. Bitch slaps me. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, Koja? And I'm like, well, if you want to, we just met. And I go back up to my school, go into my class, and I'm like, hey, this bitch just hit me. And she was like, what'd you say? And I said, woyao kojao, my teacher slaps me. And I'm like, bitch, I want a mask. And she was like, oh no, you said it like this when you should have said it like this. And I'm like, look, one of you better suck my dick or give me a mask. I'm done with this bullshit. I'll be Louis Baker, let's get your host back up here.